Welcome to this uh, annual review of F-17 and I'm going to walk you through the farm equipment sector performance for the year F-17. Let me start by saying that this was a very, very good year for the farm equipment business. The industry in this period, domestic industry in India, grew at 18%. Our farm equipment business grew at 23% in the year F-17, which clearly means that we gained a significant amount of market share. We have been the market leader in the domestic Indian market for 34 years. The year F-17 was an absolute high. We achieved our highest ever market share of 42.7%. The exports again had a very, very healthy growth of 26%. Mahindra USA, which is a significant part of our overseas business, had a revenue growth of 8%. We achieved our highest ever export volumes in the year F-17. Several enablers have worked to make this performance a reality. But the most significant one that I would like to talk about has been our product strategy. In the beginning of the year F-17, we launched a new platform which we call Mahindra Uvo. Mahindra Uvo addresses the domestic industry constituting 70% of the total volume. We've launched the Mahindra UVO in five different horsepower segments, which really allows us to address a very large industry with a high technology product. The UVO has been a blockbuster success. We've also launched the Mahindra 585DI and the Novo 49.9. Swaraj, a very successful brand in our portfolio, launched a new 42 horsepower product called the 742FE. In the beginning of F-18, we've launched a new platform again called Mahindra Jeevo, which is a 24 horsepower product in four-wheel drive. The initial response has been very, very good. There are four other key enablers that I would like to talk about. The first is around customer centricity, where we are working to reach out to customers to service their tractors at their own doorstep. The second is strengthening our dealer network and our channel. The third is our continuous focus on quality. This is a very key success factor because when launching a new product in tractors, the quality at the time of launch is what builds word of mouth. And that really has enabled the success of the UO. The fourth enabler is the cost management. We work relentlessly on bringing down our costs and that you can see is a reflection of our margin structure. We see farming 3.0 as the new wave. When we start thinking about how food needs of the world are going to be met, it's very clear that improved productivity is what will enable food production to go up in the future. Hence, use of new technologies, smart farm machinery, precision farming, digitization, will be the new technology waves for growth in the future. And we are really gearing our business models to enable that to happen. We have been focusing on globalization. Globalization involves getting into new verticals, farm machinery being one of them. We've enabled our growth in farm machinery and access to new markets using inorganic growth as a key tool. Over the last two years, we've done an acquisition in Japan, which is the Mitsubishi agri-machinery business. They specialize in the rice value chain, rice transplanters, rice harvesters, and lightweight tractors. We've invested in Sampo Rosenlow in Finland. They are a grain harvester specialist company. We've invested in Hisar Lal in Turkey. They are into farm equipment implements. These three acquisitions have enabled us to leapfrog the product technology curve enabling us to access new segments and new markets. We've also opened up a Mahindra Brazil and a Mahindra Mexico. We continue to be very successful in Mahindra USA, where we have the number three position in the less than 80 horsepower segment. As we look at globalizing, we will strengthen our brand and our distribution reach. We look at F-18 with optimism, we see a very favorable monsoon around us in the domestic market. 
and hence hope for the tractor industry to grow at a double digit rate of between 10 to 12 percent. We thank you for your support through this journey and look forward to an excellent F-18 as well.